Hello everyone and welcome to the Sidewalk Talk Show. Our guest tonight is Dr. Corona, Dr. Sharona, expert on Corona, and Darren Feinsilver. And now your impeccable host, Evan Franz. Sidewalk Talk Show. I'm your host Evan Friends and this is my co-host Sam Bob Patrick. Today we'll be interviewing uh, Sharona, uh, expert on Corona and and uh, and then we have a very funny comedian for you guys tonight, uh, da Darren Feinsilver. Darren Feinsilver is here. Uh, so yeah, um, let's let's get on with the monologue. Uh, This uh this coronavirus thing is weird. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting than, than the celebrities that do not answer our emails. So welcome, well, once again, welcome back to Sidewalk Talk Show. I'm your host Evan Friends. Your name is Sir. I'm Doug. Doug. Hi, Doug. What is your dog's name? It's beautiful dog. This is Gilly. Gilly. Hi, hi Gilly. Man. What kind of dog is Gilly? It's an Australian Shepherd. Australian oh, Shepherd. Yeah, Gilly yeah. is a very beautiful pattern and colored Australian Shepherd. So very beautiful dog. Uh, so, uh, like I said, we're, we're Sidewalk Talk Show. Uh, we, we just kind of ask uh, random questions to people on the sidewalk. Uh, and I guess uh, our first question is, uh, how dare you? <laughs> this dog to yourself. Oh, everyone's got to get out and do their thing. He's got to get out and do his do thing. Fan. That that makes sense. Yeah, you know, that's it what does. we're doing. He has us there. Uh, yeah. We're sitting down with co-host Sam Bob Patrick for his new segment on health. Right. Uh, health. What? Okay. Hi, I'm Sam Bob, and this is uh, uh, health, I guess. And today we are here with uh, Dr. Sharona, expert on Corona. Hey, uh, Dr. Sharona, how are you doing today? I am well. I hope you are good, well too, good. Sam Bob. Um, my question is, uh, how how much longer do you think this pandemic is going to go on? Thanks, Sam Bob. That's a great question. Uh, in my professional opinion as an epidemiologist, uh, we will not be able to stop practicing social distancing until we are happy again. Uh, our mood and our health are very much interconnected, you see, and I've learned this in my more than 12 years of medical school. Uh, according to my Sharona Corona Happiness Index. The only thing that can redeem the year 2020 would be what we call a level five happy event. This would be comparable to approximately 80% of the country winning at least $200 in lottery scratch off tickets simultaneously. Or uh, for Lou Vega to release the long awaited Mambo number six. And uh, how much worse do you think the pandemic could get? Um, well, as we've seen, it's been traveling across the world. Uh, me, Dr. Sharona, educated at the University of Phoenix, Arizona, said uh, my, my close associate, Dr. Carada Lambona, uh, tracked the virus first out of Verona to Pamplona, uh, where it originally had acquired Spanish flu powers by running with bulls before traveling to China, where my associate, Dr. Carada Lambona, lost the trail. Uh, at this point, anything is possible oh oh that's a you should probably put a mask on <laughs> good man it's fake right. right, um yeah, that brings me to my next point um what do we do about people like evan um well 
I would say uh, you should first question them to make sure what, uh, what symptoms they have, uh, if they have any. Uh, but what people seem to be forgetting uh, are the additional coronavirus symptoms uh, that, that people have seemed to ignore. Uh, the ability not being able to taste, that's definitely a symptom of coronavirus. Uh, being pretty sure what time it is, but then checking the time and being wrong. That's absolutely a symptom of coronavirus. If you've eaten macaroni and cheese in the last 14 days, you possibly have coronavirus. Uh, feeling like you could have a Pepsi at locations that only sell Coke, that's absolutely coronavirus symptoms. That has been this segment and that has been Dr. Sharona and uh, um, more, it just says stuff. Till then, stay healthy. I had like four sunny D's, I apologize. Is that your favorite Disney movie? It's tied with my favorite. Yes. What's your favorite? Aladdin. Aladdin's good. Mostly it's no Hercules, but it's good. Mostly because of Robin Williams. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, what's your favorite? What is your favorite video game series, and why is it Dark Souls? Um, it's not Dark Souls. Get out. Okay, bye. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> what? It, what is it? The Legend of Zelda. Oh. Basically Dark Souls for babies. <laughs> hey, it's not I grew up with that game. Yeah. Don't diss it. So, uh, want to tag back in? Tag team. <laughs> uh, if, if you could have a gladiator fight with with any two celebrities, which two celebrities would you choose? Vin Diesel and The Rock. Vin Diesel and The Rock. You can't go wrong with that. Yeah, they, they should, they can't, they'll make they, that. They, they have they'll to make, make that a movie. They'll make that. <laughs> that's going to be like Scorpion be that's gonna, Infinity or whatever. That's going to be a movie. Like, it's just a matter of time. Hi, uh, sir. Howdy. How are you? Good, how are you? Well. Get me out of here. <laughs> All right, and we'll send it over to Wilcon Cannon with his segment of Par for the Course. Alright, this is Wilcon Cannon with Par for the Course on Evan's YouTube show. Uh, we're just going to go out and go golfing with a couple comedians and probably talk about comedy a little bit. I Not one bit. Oh, it's just 12 suck. I will, I will suck. I, I know really what they were it. trying to do, but I didn't like it. Everybody. Oh, how you guys doing tonight? Hi, right, well, welcome, welcome back to the Sidewalk Talk Show. We we have our guest tonight, uh, a very Pardon fine me. comedian, Darren Feinsilver is with us tonight, and uh, we are going to talk about uh, local comedy in Indiana. I guess. Uh, fuck. What else? Yeah. Uh, that that will get people in. Uh, so yeah. Uh, here, here, Darren's right here. That's him. Oh, yeah. Hi, Darren. Uh, you, you are a, a comedian. What, what do you have to say for yourself? I didn't pay attention to school. God damn it. That's it right there. Yeah. Um, what? If you want to be funny? Don't pay attention, ever. The uh, what? What would you say? Uh, you're, you're, you are best known for as a comic in, in, in Indianapolis. Bombing. Bombing. More bombs than the Gaza Strip. Wow, you went there. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Sam, do you want some hand sanitizer? I don't think she wants to be anywhere near us. Have a great night. All right, and welcome back to Sidewalk Talk Show. Uh, uh, now for our sports segment with uh, James Tanf Tanford. I fucking 
Good evening. Um, this is James with Sports. Um, NBA playoffs are upon us. Um, here's a clip of a game. This is the uh, Milwaukee Bucks and the black team. I don't know who this is. I can't see names. Why? Evan, why are these not on the cue cards? Who wrote these? I can't. How about you fucking let me do my bit and you focus on not being terrible at your job, all right? Jesus. Now, just put a clip up. I don't even care what it is. Jesus. There's a clip. Apparently, Evan can do this better than me, so how about you just watch it? Look, you bring me onto the show and then you start telling me what to do. If you want my talents, you have to let me be the talent. Jim Carrey doesn't follow scripts, Robin Williams didn't follow scripts. Robert Downey Jr. didn't follow scripts. Okay. Uh, next game. Um, I don't know who won. There are too many basketball games. Um, here we have the Lakers and the Clippers. Uh, ooh, good move, LeBron. Man. LeBron is an attractive man, isn't he? Everybody? Parties, I think. I mean, there are not a lot of people that I would kiss before LeBron. Um, here's a list. Uh, Hannah Gadsby. Uh, the Lakers are going to beat the Heat. You know, Jimmy Butler's doing very well. Uh, but LeBron, Kuzma, and Davis is just too lethal a combination with Caruso on the side. It's going to be Lakers and six. Um, better be right. I have lost a lot of money gambling. So. Um, still playing clips. I don't, fuck it. I don't know. These are teams. Just. That's, that's good, right? That's sports. I'm done. Tonight. I see a few mopeds, man. It must be DUI Central down here. Man, man, man. It's good to be down here. Man. It's really good to be down here. It's only an hour drive, but it feels like I'm going to a whole different state. But you know, Bloomington, Bloomington's a cool town because like it's like its own like epicenter, you know? And I say epicenter, you know, because you go up to Indy and who knows what's gonna happen. It gets a little crazy. And you go down to Bedford and you're fighting toothless Johnny and uh, yeah that's not a very fun time for me uh, I don't like that third I've got one speeding ticket you know and you know how I got the speeding ticket I was going I think I was going like 60 and a 45 I'll give myself a 15 mile per hour you know and I just got done uh, shooting a film uh, shoot film you know actually no I was an extra I was a hotel um, attendant in a movie um, probably won't ever see me they're probably gonna blur me out anyway cop so he's like so why are you going so fast said I'm just ready to go home watch some porn yeah Bedford police they must not be getting no punani because he was not having it and uh, he just told me he was like he's like yeah he's like, I'm gonna give you a ticket and at that point like I I couldn't get hard like I couldn't just you know I'd have been just wanking it off and here's that officer's face <laughs> you know and, and I'm not like, you know, talking about I guess they don't have to wear masks. I guess they can't get COVID. So, you know, 2020, you know how I'd like to see 2020 in? Just take it behind the barn and go together. By the way, that was not a threat to assassinate anybody. Also, that was not a threat to kill yourself. We just need a redo. We just need to get a new dog. We need a new dog in town. New dog in town.
just on sidewalk dog show. This gentleman here is awesome. That's the whole pool. Yeah. All right, have a, have a seat. Welcome to the Sidewalk Talk Show. I'm your host, Evan Friends. We're sitting down with we're, we're sitting down with this this random gentleman who just came out of a Kroger with a shopping bag. I, you've been grocery shopping tonight, have you not? He has been grocery shopping. Not you've really heard first here. Shopping, shopping, yeah. Late late night talk show ex exclusive. This gentleman has been shopping this evening. Welcome to late night. The, 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 sorry, welcome to Sidewalk Talk Show. I'm your host, Evan Friends. Well, what, what's your what's your name, sir? Chris. 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 Yeah, you're, you're good. No, like the, the point is that people drive through it. I'm a I'm here watch. Oh, we oh, have okay. we our, have our, audience our, our first audience member of the entire Woo! season is here. Welcome, welcome back to Sidewalk Talk Show for the third time in the last minute. I'm Evan Friends, your host, and we're sitting down with Chris, a Bloomington resident and alleged shopper. Chris, what? What do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> that I hope the world gets unfucked pretty quick. That is a great answer. That is a great answer. But a round of applause for Chris, everybody. Chris. Yeah. 2021. Chris, if, if you were running for president, what would your official platform be in less than one sentence? Go. Stop lying. Damn it, he got it! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> fucking got us! I, need, I fucking it. knew it! Words. <laughs> Fuck! It's okay. <laughs> the river. Remember All right. the river. I know, I know. God damn it. Okay. Chris, Chris what? What the hell, man? What the, what the hell, man? I apologize. Chris, Chris uh, how, how many children do you have, Chris? Chris, I have four. He has four children. Holy Which, shit, Chris. Uh, uh, ages? Range from 25 to 35. All right, 25 Chris. 25 to 35, okay. Uh, of your 26. 26, 26 to, 30, to 35. Knows his children's age. Chris, the avid father, Type figure, uh, what what if, if you had to the square your children off in a gladiator style battle, which of which one of them would win? Probably my youngest son. Um, He's got that good back. He he, well, he he doesn't necessarily have the athletic ability, but he, I think he has the mean to prevail. He would win. Mean mean son of the of the four brothers, the mean one, the youngest. Uh, 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 there, there will. The internet will never die by this point. Anyway, uh, well, uh, so so here on so here on Sidewalk Talk Show, uh, we we basically just ask random questions to random people. Here at Sidewalk Talk Show, we believe that that random people are just as interesting, if not more interesting, than random celebrities and their dumb stories about their cute dog they just adopted. So uh, here on Sidewalk Talk Show, we ask the hard-hitting questions. Anna. Like, do you have a cute dog that you just? Yeah, do you adopted? have it? Did you, you did? Did you adopt a dog? Uh, my dogs are both adopted. Yeah, got two. Oh God! Thank God we have a dog story. Are right, you got any cute dog stories? Because we're we're really uh, we're dying. We're dying here. We did. Uh, oh man. Yeah, God. one of my dogs looks like a fox. Dog, that's kind of awesome. Yeah. That is <laughs> awesome. <laughs>